So I saw this on Facebook the other day, posted by our friends uh, Dan and Rob, and uh, the hypothesis here is that if you take mantos and freeze them into ice cubes and then put those in people's drinks, that after the ice melts, that the mentos will react with the fizzy drink. Um, we're going to use Diet Coke because that's reportedly the best that then you'll get that explosive reaction that you expect to see from Diet Coke and Mentos. Now, uh, you'll see here um, that I wasn't so sure that we'd really get much of anything, but since the whole point of science is to experiment, if you can, I thought it would be worthwhile doing some actual Tests. So let's see how those go. Experiment one, the classic Diet Coke with a Mentos. Far from explosive, but quite messy. Experiment two, this is the control. Where we take an, a regular Mentos, and we drop it into a glass of Coke. I've picked a tall glass here, trying to get us the maximum pressure, but that's still not expecting much. Now the Diet Coke is room temperature, it's not cold, that's to hopefully the melting of the ice cubes. Just move these slightly out of the way. Okay, so, regular Mentos, normal Diet Coke. Not too explosive, but definitely would be annoying if that happened to your drink at a restaurant. All right, now for the first proper test. We have here a number of ice cubes, which have been frozen with Mentos inside them. Probably can't see that too well. Now this one looks pretty good, as in it looks like no, there's a slight gap on that one. We're trying to find one that looks nicely encased. Alright, this one looks good. I don't know how well that's visible, but you can just see the Mentos in there. So, what we're going to do is we're going to drop it in just the same as we dropped in the unfrozen Mentos. We're going to see what happens. It might take a little while though. So, let's pour out some Diet Coke. Get another bottle ready. Now, let's put the ice cube in. Alright, it's nothing much yet. Ice cube has sank all the way to the bottom. I don't know how clearly you can see that. Let's try and get a closer look there. You can just see the ice cube down there. Now let's wait till it's finished melting. It's not far off. And we haven't had an explosive reaction. Um, 
means that it looks like there's a piece of ice floating up at the top. Again, I know you're all wanting it to go boom as I lean over it, but uh, I don't think it's going to. It looks to me like we didn't get any sort of reaction other than mildly increased fizzing at the beginning. Very mildly though. So, a little bit of ice left. The Mementos itself is down here. Just about visible there. And, uh, let's pull this thing out and see if it is indeed out. Looks like it. Sure enough, there it is. And let's just tip this out onto the table. Just to show you, indeed, we have a Mentos. It's in our ice cube. Unfortunately, nothing. Nothing at all. So there you have it. We really didn't get much of anything, um, as expected. I, I wasn't expecting the ice cube with the Mentos in to just sink all the way to the bottom. Uh, I did think the ice would be buoyant enough to hold it up for at least some of the time, but um, unless you do a much bigger ice cube, I guess, you're going to have that Mentos is going to sink right down to the bottom as the ice melts and it slowly exposes the Mentos, rather than, um, you get a slow reaction. Um, the Mentos Diet Coke thing works because on the surface of a Mentos is lots of tiny little dimples that allow the carbon dioxide bubbles to form much more quickly than they normally would, sort of a catalyst. As you drop that in and as it passes down through, uh, that, that causes all that carbon dioxide to form throughout the drink very rapidly, which pushes the fluid up and out the top, as we saw in the uh, Diet Coke in the bottle, and as we saw in the Diet Coke just in the glass. Now, one of the reasons that you get that spout is because you're, you're putting it through a small hole which increases the pressure of what's coming out when you have a tall glass like we had that's just a relatively large hole it, it foams over and it spills everywhere but you don't get anything that you would call an explosion um something that might have happened that um i don't know for sure is that the freezing of the Mentos could have been part of the problem too. Um, if the Mentos had started to dissolve, um, if we had lost that pitted surface, that could also be why we really didn't get much of anything. But there you go. If you're expecting to freeze some Mentos in ice cubes and then drop them in your friend's drink and have anything happen at all other than their drink go a bit minty, um, unfortunately you're going to be disappointed.